Welcome, this is my newest contraption. It is a auto bagging system called a dry bagger. And what it does is it also has water injection. It's gonna dispense out a metered amount of, of grain and this will meter out the water. How I have it working is pneumatic. So I have an air compressor that comes in and then there's a foot pedal. The foot pedal has two lines that come out and one line goes to the front and one line goes to the back. And the one that goes to the back goes to the front on the top one and vice versa. So what happens is right now in the resting uh, position, this valve is open and this valve is shut. And when I press the pedal, they switch. So it just dumps the volume of right there. I also have this adjustable collar. This is a repair coupling. So if I wanted to adjust it, which I'm not going to right now because I already have it dialed in for the amount that I want, I could loosen this collar and slide it up or down and then lock it back down. So right now I have it for like 1400, it's like 1380 grams of, of grain and about the same for water. You want about one to one for what I'm doing. I'm doing wheat or I'm doing oats rather. So I will show you guys a couple runs of this bad boy. And uh, I also have a, you can check below, I have a link for, if you want to build one, I have a link for all the parts for this. From Am Most of it's from Amazon. The one thing that's hard to find is the, the pneumatic valves. They, they can be a little bit finicky to find at a good price. These cost me about, I think, 60 bucks, 50 bucks, but they fluctuate between 40 and $90. So when I press the pedal, what happens is there's an air line that comes in the bottom of this box and in the box there's a switch. So when that switch hits pressure, it also hits the run button. It's wired to the back side of the run button. So watch this, ready, I hit the pedal. And that's it, and we're good to go. So then I'll just let that sit and let it sit for a couple minutes and what happens is after a couple minutes, it'll look like that. I, these actually have 5% um, fuel pellets in it just to try to fluff it up a little bit more and hydrate it in a little bit easier. Otherwise, you'd have to let it sit for a couple hours and hydrate in. So I'll do one more, I'll do one up close so you guys can see the whole thing working in action. go. So it definitely took some time to build this thing, but um, truthfully the hardest part was building the controller. I only spent maybe an hour actually putting this together, not even, because all it is is PVC pipes. And I didn't even glue them, I just put screws. There's screws in the backside holding them together. So if I ever wanted to use it for something else, I could always take the screws out. Um, you know, you don't, once you glue a fitting together, it's, it's done and these are kind of expensive. So I just put a screw in them and uh, this is only good for grain. Pellets, three inches is really too small. But um, I basically went out and bought, I bought some three inch valves, I bought some four inch valves and I was playing around with what works and I found out that three inch valves don't work for pellets, for fuel pellets. So you can't do a, a bulk substrate bagger out of a three inch. But you can do the four inch. The only thing is the four inch start at about $160 each. So you're talking over $300 in just valves. Um, I'm, I'm still gonna do it, but um, I didn't wanna put these to waste is pretty much what, I, what I'm getting at. I, didn't, I, didn't, I wanted to see how it works, get the, the concept down, see if the adjustment thing works, it does. But with four inch, this adjustment thing won't work because a four inch one is huge and it's gonna hold like six pounds of substrate and uh, maybe even more than that, and the bags will have to be like, you know, 12, 13 pound bags, and that's just too much for what I, what I do uh, for my bag size and whatnot. Um, so yeah, th this three inch one, now I have a purpose made just for spawn. I'm gonna make another one with the four inchers just for bulk substrate. Probably either not have it adjustable or have it a different kind of adjustable where you change out the tubes. Uh, maybe put a, a little quick kind of uh, quick change pin so you can change them out a little bit easier than having to unscrew them all the way. 
But uh, that's, that's my next project is a, a dry substrate bagger. So hopefully you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, I no longer comment on YouTube. So make sure you comment on Vimeo. Check me, follow me on Vimeo or on Patreon. So thank you for checking out my video and have a good one. Keep on mushrooming.